Hi guys, this is a demonstration of how do we use a new disk, how do we partition it, how do we install a file system on it, how do we mount it manually and how do we mount it automatically. So let's begin. When I start with LSBLK, it shows me that I have got three new disks here, SDB, SDC and SD, SDD. All of them are disks, you see there are no partitions created on this. I will be starting with the SDB for, with FDisk which is going to create the MBI partitions for me and uh, SDC later will uh, with the GPT will create two more partitions inside it. So let's begin with this. To start with FDisk, I'm going to use a sudo FDisk minus L and then we'll start with checking what is exist, uh, what is there inside SDB by using FDisk minus L. It shows me there is no partition defined inside SDB. This is the confirmation. We already have seen that here itself, but this is just a confirmation. Now I want to start partitioning it, so use fdisk dev slash sdb. Let me clear the screen and use the menu m and then it shows me the list of options available here. I'm going to start with n, n stands for add a new partition because I don't have any partition. If I want to see the current partition scheme, I can use p, p for print partition tables and p shows me there is no partition defined inside the scheme. Okay, I'm going to start with n, n is going to create a new partition. So the default partition type is like P for primary. I'll be okay with that. The, well, the first partition that we are going to add. So let me add one. This is the first sector. I'll be okay with that. Um, right now the disk is of 10 GB. So I want to allocate first 5 GB for first partition. So it's like plus 5 G. That's first 5 GB of it. And hopefully the partition must have got created. To get the confirmation, I can use P. And P shows me that one partition SDB1 has been created from this sector to this sector and the size is 5G. Wonderful. Now I want to create one more partition in it. So let's say new, that's N, one more primary partition, sorry, one more primary partition and uh, the partition number is 2 and we'll go for the current sector from which the new partition will start, the last sector of the disk and hopefully the partition must have got created. P will show you the partition schema. So the partition schema, the partition scheme is like there are two partitions inside my disk, SDB1 and SDB2 inside the disk slash dev slash SDB. Let me uh, confirm that by using W and when I say W, W will write the contents on the disk and will uh, exit from the tool. So if I say sudo, again the same command, fdisk, <coughs> sorry, fdisk minus L slash dev slash SDB I'm not looking at the actual partition, I'm looking at the disk and this shows me there are two partitions here. I can also get the confirmation by LSBLK and LSBLK, LSBLK shows the same thing. This is the disk and these are two partitions. So now we have created those two partitions, those are pretty useless because do, we do not have any partition, sorry, we do not have any uh, file system on it. So I want to format these two partitions with ext4 uh, file system. To do it, maybe I can say sudo mkfs mk stands for uh, make and fs like the file system the one way i want to use here is ext4 on the partition slash def slash sdb1 and this is where the partition uh, sorry, this is the partition where the ext4 file system will be installed let me do the same thing for sdb2 and seems like i've got both the partitions with ext4 so uh, probably i can use the command sudo uh, blk blk stands for block id of slash def slash sdb1 and it shows me this is the uuid of this partition probably sdb1 uh, this is the block size of it and the type of it is like ext4 same goes for 2 this is also having its id which is going to identify this partition uniquely and it is also having ext4 on it so we are kind of done with that so if i go for lsblk one more time i used sdb uh, and then i created two partitions and installed ext4 in them now let's do the same thing for SDC now. So now let's start with the GPT and then we'll create two partitions on the SDC. To do this, we are going to start with sudo gdisk slash dev slash SDC. Now this partition, <coughs> sorry, this, uh, this disk doesn't have any partition. If I look at P, P shows me there is no partition exist. Fine. If I want to start creating a partition, I can start with N and N stands for new partition. Because it is a GPT, you can create 128 partitions on the disk. I want to start with the first one here. It's asking me uh, enter the first sector, which I'm okay with, to, uh, 2048. The last sector, because that's the first partition I'm creating, I'm going to create it with 5G. 
Now it's asking me the hexa code or hexa hexadecimal code or GUID for this partition. Uh, maybe I'm going to uh, enter with the uh, 8300, which is like the Linux file system for me. And hopefully the partition must have got created. By using P, I can confirm that there's one partition uh, starting from this sector to this sector. And I can see it is of 5 GB. Let me uh, create one more partition. That's the second partition we are creating, starting from this to the last sector of the disk. And I'll, I'll be using that 8300. And hopefully the new partition also has been created for me. So seems like those two partitions now exist. I'm going to say W to enter and uh, continue writing this on the disk. And I'll continue with it. Great. So it says the partitions have been created successfully. Again, I can say sudo jdisk minor, uh, sorry, slash dev slash sdc. And it confirms, I'm so sorry, we need to check the contents of it, not directly format it. So minus L shows me there are two partitions created on this disk. Wonderful. So now I want to again try with lsblk and it shows me sdb1, sdb2 from sdb and sdc1, sdc2 from sdc. Four partitions have been created successfully. Wonderful. Now I want to uh, uh, mount sdb1 and sdc1 just to see if I can. So let's start mounting both the partitions now. To do this, I want to create two directories inside my MNT. So I'll go back here. I can say mkdir slash mnt slash disk1 and disk2. I, uh, I want to try sdb1 and sdb2 in these two disks. To, to do this, we can say sudo mount slash sdb1 to slash mnt slash disk1. And this will get mounted on the disk1. The same goes for disk2 and uh, sdb2. And if I look at sudo find mnt, it shows me both these disks have been mounted to that current uh, slash dev slash uh, sorry slash mnt slash disk1 and slash mnt slash disk2. So both of them have been mounted successfully. So right now the only problem here is we cannot make them persistent. To make them persistent, I'm going to create two directories. So it's going to be sudo not mkdir directly. It's going to be like sudo slash uh, sorry mkdir slash disk1 slash disk2. And then we can start entering the information inside FS tab. Now FS tab is the table, you can say, where you are going to enter the information about those disks or those mount points that you want to load at the boot time. So the first one is like slash dev slash sdb1 uh, to the directory slash disk1, which is having a four file system ext4. I want to use the default parameters or default attributes with 0, 0 same slash def slash sdb2 and again it's going to be like disk2 ext4 again it's going to be like defaults 0 sorry 0 0 so i've entered all the information here let me go back quit on this and say sudo reboot now this virtual machine will get booted now now because it is booting it will take a minute or two by the time i'll just put the command we're going to ssh so once it gets booted successfully, I'll get the uh, command prompt back. And once I get the command prompt, I want to verify whether my disk one and disk two, both of them mounted successfully or not. We are waiting for it to get restarted or rebooted. Wonderful, it got rebooted. Now I can check again, sudo find mnt. And you will see that both my disk one and disk two these are used for sdb1 and sdb2 so this confirms that both sdb1 and sdb2 are mounted on disk1 and disk2 successfully so if i go to disk disk1 if i say ls i see the lost and found and same goes for disk2 i can see lost and found this directory is created by ext4 file system so this is the small demonstration of how do we use a new disk i mean we used the sdb and sdbc how do we partition them we used MBR for disk B or you can say SDB and we used GPT for disk C that is SDC. Also uh, you can see like how have we uh, installed file system on that and how have we mounted manually as well as automatically. Thank you guys.